Ready to fuck some shit up? Got a dog, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. Sorry to end that introduction song there, guys. I know some of you are probably like, well, I was really getting into that song. I mean, I know I was, at least. I was jamming to it, bobbing my head to it and whatnot. But anyways, as you guys can see, I mean, look at this mod. Are you guys seeing this? I mean, what, what am I saying? Of course you guys are seeing this. It's just insane. If you ever wonder what it looked like to have some greenery in the wasteland, hold up. Some is an understatement. If you ever wondered what it looked like to have a lot of greenery in the wasteland, where basically everything is overgrown, well, here you guys go. And I have to say, this is a whole new outlook. I either prefer this look way more than the old regular wasteland. To be completely honest with you guys, I didn't even want to return to the old regular wasteland. I was like, oh man, do I really gotta go back? It's like that saying, once you go black, you never go back. Except this time, it's once you go green, you never want to go back. I don't really have a rhyme for that, but you guys get what I'm saying. I did not want to return to the regular old wasteland at all, whatsoever. And not to mention, if I turn up the sound a little bit, they even added ambience noise of birds chirping and whatnot. Ah, how peaceful. They of course added that ambient sound to have more of a wildlife feel. Basically, everything is overgrown in this. There's even greenery on structures. I mean, this may sound strange to some of you, but this made me have a little bit of a feel as if I was playing on Skyrim, except, of course, I had guns and, you know, well, it's more futuristic and whatnot. But still, it gave me that feel as if I was playing on Skyrim because not everything is dead around me. There's more life to the game. And, well, life's good. Trees are good. I mean, trees help us breathe. You know, now that I think about it, this also kind of reminds me of The Last of Us as well. I don't know if you guys think the same as my opinion, but yeah, it's just reminding me a lot of different games. This is a great example of how adding greenery detail can actually affect a game. So yeah, this mod is overall awesome. And the name of this mod is actually called Resurrection. What a great name. Suits it perfectly. Had to say the mod creator really outdid himself with this one. This is the fallout that I've never got to experience, but I've always deep down in my mind wanted to experience. And, well, of course, I've never actually thought about experiencing this, but it was deep down in there. Like, yeah, I've always wanted to experience this because now I just never want to return back to the old regular wasteland. It's crazy. This warped my brain, mod creator. What have you done? But don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about this at all. Thank you for this mod. This is a whole new experience for the game. Very enjoyable. I myself give this a rating, I don't know about you guys, but a 10 out of 10 IGN. This next mod I have for you, I'm almost certain that the creator is into some freaky tentacle porn. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well then let's just say it's some extreme bondage. I know I now just influence some people to go look up tentacle porn. Oh gosh. Just be prepared for your mind to get scarred. Anywho, once you have the mod active, if you head over to this location right over here, you can actually encounter, I believe, Squidward's long-lost cousin or Octodad's relative or something. It's one or the other. As you guys can see here, a squid is just chilling on this beach. Go up to him and you can have him follow you just like any other companion. Keep in mind, though, if you do have another companion with you, the other companion will have to go in order for this squid to start following you. Now, this squid follower doesn't really have much interaction. He doesn't really talk much. He kind of reacts every now and then, but doesn't really have that much dialogue. You can trade with him, and uh, yeah, that's about it with him. He does have an unarmed attack. I mean, as you guys can see though, his attack isn't that rough. He's destroying his ghouls in two hits. Just imagine when you start equipping items to him. Yeah, that's right. You can equip stuff on him. If you spawn in a squid station at, well, you know, wherever you can spawn in resources at, you will notice that you can craft a bunch of different things such as armor for the squid. I mean, check this out, look at the irony in this. The squid is wearing a squid hat, and the squid hat isn't the only feature that you can add onto this squid. I mean, as you guys can see, there's a whole selection here. You can have them wear a squid crown, a squid armor plating set, I don't know, just a bunch of different goofy things on them. You can even get him to have Mirelurk Queen gauntlets. And to be honest, I didn't really see much of a difference in his attack when he was using these though. But everything you can craft isn't for him. You can actually craft yourself some squid armor, which is basically just some squids attached to you. Look at this. Say hello to my little friends. 
pretty creative, pretty creative. And you can also craft yourself a gun. Yes, that's right, an actual squid gun that has acid for the ammo. I uh, actually seen this to be very similar to the alien blaster. Basically, this is a skin over the alien blaster. And of course, you know, the alien blaster takes different ammo type and disintegrates the enemies differently. But still, it basically is the same thing. It shoots the same way, reloads the same way, and yeah, the only thing different is it looks different, and once again, it disintegrates them differently. I mean, I gotta give it to the mod creator, though. He is hands down extremely creative. One of the funniest mods I've ever seen, and not to mention it's pretty freaking awesome, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I decided to compile this with the Resurrection mod, just because I really like the Resurrection mod, and I also really like the Squid mod, just because, well, obviously, the uh, creator definitely has a sense of humor, and... I like that. I mean, not only does this creator clearly have a sense of humor, but this is extremely creative as well, which is, of course, obviously important for mod creations. There should be a mod where there's tons of squids underwater. Now, that would be a freaking awesome mod as well, because everyone wants some underwater creatures in Fallout. Well, not everyone. Just I have seen a lot of people saying they wish there was underwater creatures. But I have to say to the creator before I wrap up this mod and head on over to the last mod I'm going to be showcasing in this video, this was a very creative mod and thank you for your sense of humor. I enjoyed my time actually getting to hang out with Octodad's brother in Fallout 4. It was a blast. Anyways, for this last mod I'm going to be showcasing to you guys is actually a recreation of the Campground Visitation Center in Far Harbor. So yes, that's right, this is a Far Harbor mod. Far Harbor is pretty much brand new, so it's nice seeing mods already in it. Okay, so anyways, enough about that jibber-jabber, let's get into this. Of course, we're going to be heading on over to the Campground Visitation Center. And as you guys will see, I'll be showing you a before and after while showcasing this fine gentleman's mod. Apparently, this is one of his first mods he's ever created. So a round of a freaking applause for this being one of his first creations. Now, I don't think this was his actual first creation, but he hasn't created that many mods, so big props to him. As you guys can see though, the before version is obviously very destroyed looking. A lot of rubble on the ground everywhere, broken restroom facilities, the shelves in the gift shop are all crooked and destroyed looking, the glass cases are all messed up in one of the rooms, the employee's room upstairs is completely different looking in the after version. And as you guys will see when I do head upstairs, right now I'm just giving you a fast forward tour of what this place looks like before the mod. But anyway, when we do reach upstairs, you will notice that there's holes in the walls, and that isn't there in the modded version. But these holes in the walls actually can take you outside. This is all cleaned up. It's just one huge put-together building. Of course, the windows and whatnot might be destroyed, but still, there's nothing like huge holes in the walls, or not to mention, you know, ceiling to go outside. And also, there's a third story. In this one, this third story leads you outside on top of the house. But the modded version, there's a third story that leads up to a sleeping area. But anyway, let's get into this modded version. You guys got to take a quick glimpse of what this looks like regularly. So let's see how it looks when it's fixed up. As you guys can see, the front entrance is even changed up. There's no more destroyed cars out front. And there's like no bushes laying around underneath the canopy here. It's just all looking fresh. And speaking of fresh, there's even a Nuka-Cola Quantum in this Vim machine here. With plenty of other Nuka-Cola products. Odd. I know. Why are they in a Vim machine? But who honestly cares about that? Okay, so anywho, heading onward into the courtyard of this area, as you guys can see, there's floating picnic tables. I don't really like that too much, but still a pretty nice add on the add out front. I think the creator could have calmed down a little bit on how many picnic tables were out here, but still, I can't really complain. I'm not the one that fixed up all this. He spent a lot of time putting this together. As you guys can see, look how different this place looks. There's not really no more destruction. And that's weird to say in a Fallout game. I mean, still, once again, the windows might still be broken and whatnot. But for the most part, this is really cleaned up nicely. Especially for it being one of his first mods he's put together. He even fixed up the front porch. Alrighty, as you guys just saw a minute ago, how clean looking the front lobby looked. There was no rubble laying all over the ground. And the staircase that leads upstairs was even fixed. I mean, check out this gift shop. Look how organized it looks in here. There's no more crooked and destroyed shelves, rubble laying all over the ground. It's just all clean, with a bunch of goodies on the shelves now. Also over here, as you guys can see, there's even little figurines, which I like this little touch he adds in this place. He adds plenty of little figurines around, which basically how this is done, the mod creator just shrinks things down to, you know, an action figure size. So it looks like a collectible of some sort. I don't know, there's not much to say, except for he did a really good job cleaning this place up. I guess that's about it for this gift shop, though. Let's head on over to the other room. Basically, this is the showroom. As you guys will see, I mean, it's kind of hard to spot out because this glass case has a weird reflection on it. But 
They hold like little figurines as you saw in the gift shop, except there's a variety of different things. Pretty much everything that you encounter in Far Harbor, he shrunk into these glass cases. Just imagine how time consuming that was alone. I mean, that's not even mentioning the posture of these things inside these glass cases. You know, how they look pretty much inside these. It's not like all of a sudden they just appeared randomly inside there. No, he had to actually take the time to put these in certain positions. They hold a bunch of things that he shrunk. Enemies, boats, cannons, landscape, you name it, he shrunk into these glass cases. Pretty much everything you encounter in Far Harbor, he shrunk into these glass cases for like a little museum. This room just blew me away. Sure, it might look simple when you first enter here, like, oh, big deal. He just, you know, added a bunch of little things inside these glass cases. I mean, just think about it, though, how long this had to have taken. And if you're looking around this room, there's still extra details around, too, like fishnets on the wall and whatnot. This room alone just blew my mind away. I mean, what am I saying? This whole place being decorated inside and fixed up is absolutely amazing. Not just this room. This room is an awesome part, though. Because I don't know if any of you guys have ever visited a uh, visitation center, but normally they have, like, maps of what's around the area and, well, you know, things that are around the area. Sometimes they do have, like, shows like this in visitation centers. Definitely very time-consuming what he did here. Lots of things he shrunk to fit inside these glass cases. Also, there's no destruction in this room either. And look at the restrooms. The restrooms were even straightened up. They got fresh looking toilets in both of the restrooms along with some fresh looking toilet paper with a magazine rack and fresh looking sinks as well. So heck yeah. Anywho, let's go upstairs now into the employee's room. This is a humongous change. Like this whole upstairs is just completely changed around. Once again, there's no destroyed walls, ways to get outside to the balcony. And I don't know if you guys noticed from the outside, but there's no more balcony whatsoever. But I have to say, this employee's room looks completely different. There used to be like two separate walls here that would kind of like make two different rooms, but instead he just opened it up to one huge room, and also it looks like he enlarged a globe into the center of this place, with a unique rug and also a table in the middle. Definitely a nice touch. Looks like an area where employees would work at. And just wait when we start heading upstairs. He added a whole new section up there. Basically, it's a sleeping area up there. Bunk beds and shelves and stuff like that are up there. Sorry about the lag in this video. I hope it's not too distracting for you guys. I'm not used to recording on my PC. I will have this problem figured out soon, though. But, yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this mod showcase. Hopefully, you guys ended up enjoying this. And if you did and you want to see more of this on my channel... Please consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. But I'm out of here. If you want, check out my Twitter in the description. I'm very active on that, and I don't really have that many followers on there. So it'd be nice to get some more traffic on there. I'll catch you guys on the flip side, hopefully in the next mod showcase. It's just depending on, you know, how well this does with support. Thanks for watching. Peace.